Oh, this is, I'm loving this. Oh, yes. Yes, I could. Oh, that was so much fun. Getting to see the cultures that we put the gene into was really, really exciting. Something that I really loved about the lab setting is that it's both very much a community. You know, you're working a lot of times with your classmates, a great relationship building science skill building experience. And then there was also the research that I got to do independently that, that I was like, well, I have to figure this out for myself. And I think that was really important for me. Definitely super, super formative. It's hard to see with my mask, but I'm grinning about yay big. That was the first successful concentration of my exoprotein. Two weeks worth of experiments, and it was this long, drawn-out process, and then we had my nice, neat little tube of, of extract. <laughs> That's one of my favorite photos. I love to show that to my parents. Like, I did, I did it, I'm a scientist. And then we got to analyze it and see that there was actually protein there. Biochemistry One pushed me to be a much better scientist, and it really demanded the most. And it was so challenging and so good, and one of the most enjoyable classes I've ever taken. I got a science job after I graduated. We were working in real time on a rapid COVID diagnostic, which was really, it was so fun and so inspiring to ultimately give to millions of people to get more real time diagnostics. Well, I am overjoyed to be joining Emory's Biochemistry Cell and Developmental Biology PhD program this fall. When I told my parents a couple years ago that my goal was to go to grad school and they would pay me to be a scientist. You know, they were, okay, okay, let me know. And now my stipend is being paid directly by National Institutes of Health. And then in addition to that, I also received the Centennial Fellowship, which is super exciting. I feel very honored to have received that. I still can't believe it. I am definitely feeling prepared in the sense that I know that my foundational skill set is definitely there. That was something that I spent a lot of time thinking about and how personalized I felt like my education was here. I think my biggest class was 20 people. Had I gone to some of the bigger universities that I had looked at before coming here, I definitely would have been lost in the numbers. And I'm very, very thankful that I wasn't because I wouldn't have gotten that, that personalized training, that individualized uh, training that is preparing me for my graduate degree. I think that's one of the biggest, best things about GU for sure.